Hello everyone. Today we are starting to review one of the latest innovations in the world of technology. Nothing Phone 2A and Nothing Phone 2. The latest smartphones from the Nothing brand are designed for those looking for a budget-friendly option. Instead of appealing to the premium and value flagship markets, this the phones aim to offer all the essential features at the most affordable price. A name like Nothing Phone 2A shows that this phone shares a lot in common with the Nothing Phone 2, which was released in 2023. Today, we will discuss all the differences and similarities between these two phones. You will be surprised. Because even though their prices are very different, there are actually many similarities between them. Now, before going into the details of these phonies, are you ready to discover the similarities and differences between them? So let's get started. These phones are practically the same size. Actually, I'd go as far as saying they're exactly the same size. They might not measure exactly the same on paper, but when you hold one up to the other, there's hardly any difference between them. And since the phones are pretty much the same size, their displays are also pretty much the same size, with nothing skimping on those sleek, symmetrical bezels all around. Now that's usually a premium feature you'd only find on higher-end phones, so it's pretty cool that this more affordable phone has it too. The displays also sport the same glass, Gorilla Glass 5. It's not the newest glass out there, so it might not be as tough as something like the new Gorilla Glass armor on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but it'll still get the job done. Even the buttons are pretty much the same size and in the same spot. It's pretty obvious that nothing just took the basic idea of the Nothing Phone 2 and transferred it straight over to the Nothing Phone 2A. Now you might look at the Nothing Phone 2A and the Nothing Phone 2 and think they have different cameras because they look so different, but they don't. The camera hardware underneath the camera module is exactly the same. The lenses, the megapixels, everything. It's all identical. It's just been moved to this really interesting eyeball-like position. So, let's talk about the bottoms of these phones. They're basically identical with the SIM tray, the speaker grill, and the USB-C ports all hanging out down there. And get this, they both have dual SIM card trays, so if you're in the market for a dual SIM phone, the Nothing Phone 2A has got you covered. Now, let's talk durability ratings. They're both rated for IP54, which means they can handle light splashes and some basic particles like coarse sand. But here's the thing, I wouldn't recommend taking these babies to the beach. If they take a dip in the ocean or get a little too cozy with some fine sand, you're gonna run into some issues. And let me tell you, I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, irritating, and it gets everywhere. Moving on to the fingerprint sensor. Yep, it's under the display just like on the Nothing Phone 2, and it's in the same spot which might raise a few eyebrows. It's placed a bit lower than on other phones, which could be a plus if you've got smaller thumbs and want easier access to the bottom of the phone. But for most folks, you might find yourself adjusting to reaching down just a tad. And finally, let's talk software. Both of these bad boys are currently running Nothing OS 2.5, based on Android 14. So, that's all the things that are the same, and you might be thinking, well what's left to be different? Well there is quite a bit, so let's jump right into the first difference. Number 1, Cameras. Now, when it comes to camera setups, the Nothing Phone 2A and Nothing Phone 2 are like two peas in a pod. Seriously impressive stuff considering the price difference. Let's break it down. Both phones rock a 50 meter poor primary camera with a snappy f1.88 aperture and OIS technology to keep your shots steady as a rock. And that's not all. They both pack a matching 50 mm p 114 degree ultra wide lens for those epic wide angle shots. But wait, there's more. The camera hardware is practically identical across the entire system, including the 32 memolat selfie camera. The only notable difference? The use of different ISPs. The Nothing Phone 2A boasts the 14-bit Imagic Q765, while the Phone 2 flaunts the 18-bit Spectra. Now this might translate to slightly better performance from the Phone 2, but honestly, the gap shouldn't be that noticeable. All in all, it's pretty darn impressive to see such top-notch camera specs packed into these budget-friendly beauties. Number 2. Battery Life. It is an absolute essential when it comes to our trusty smartphones. Now get this, the Nothing Phone 2A is stepping up its game with a bigger battery compared to its predecessor, the Nothing Phone 2. And let me tell you, it's a move that's definitely caught my attention. Here's the deal. 
the Phone 2A rocks a beefy 5000 mAh battery, while the Phone 2 trails slightly behind at 4700 mAh. Now, granted, the difference might not seem like much, but hey, when it comes to battery life, every little bit counts, am I right? But hold your horses, folks. There's more to battery life than just capacity. With LTPO tech and other optimizations in play, the Nothing Phone 2 might just edge ahead in real-world use. But hey, we'll reserve our final judgment until we've put the new budget model through its paces. Now, when it's time to juice up those batteries, both phones come equipped with identical 45W fast charging, guaranteeing some pretty speedy charge times. In fact, in our tests, the Nothing Phone 2 went from flat to full in just 56 minutes. Talk about impressive. Although, with a slightly larger battery, the Phone 2A might take just a tad longer to hit that coveted 100% mark. Number 3. Glyph Interface It is one of the main differences between the Nothing Phone 2 and its more affordable counterpart, the Glyph Interface. Now, this is kinda ironic, considering it's a key focus of the brand, but hey, let's break it down. So, the Nothing Phone 2 keeps the ball rolling from its predecessor, the Phone 1, with a bunch of LEDs nestled within the transparent rear of the phone. And let me tell you, these LEDs aren't just for show. They can whip up custom LED patterns for different notifications and calls, plus they can pull off some pretty neat tricks, like displaying a timer, or showing you how much juice you've got left when charging. Talk about fancy, right? Now, on the flip side, the Nothing Phone 2A rocks the same transparent rear as its siblings, but it's definitely toned down in the Glyph interface department. You've only got three LEDs hanging around the centrally placed camera module on the back. Sure, they'll still light up for calls and texts, and you can use them as a timer, but let's be real. It's not quite as flashy or customizable as the 11 LEDs on its pricier counterpart. Number 4. Price. Now, the Nothing Phone 2A. It's a real steal compared to its big brother, the Nothing Phone 2. We're talking a starting price of just 399 for the 2A, which is almost half the price of the regular old Nothing Phone 2, clocking in at 579. And let me tell you, for that price difference, you're not sacrificing too much in terms of performance or features. Now, if you're itching to get your hands on the Nothing Phone 2, you're in luck. It's available for purchase right now. But if you've got your eye on the Nothing Phone 2A, you'll have to settle for pre-ordering it at the moment, with the official release date set for March 12th. By the way, the Nothing Phone 2A is not designed to work in the United States. You'll have to accept some terms and conditions that tells nothing that you understand. That this phone is not designed to work in the United States, and if you face any problems using the phone in the United States, that's your problem. In conclusion, while the Nothing Phone 2A and the Nothing Phone 2 share many similarities, they also have notable differences that cater to different user preferences and budgets. Whether you prioritize affordability, specific features, or performance, both phones offer compelling options within their respective price ranges. Ultimately, the decision between the two depends on your individual needs and priorities. Let us know in the comments which phone you think is the better buy before you go. Don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button, sharing this video with your friends, and of course, subscribing to our channel for more insightful reviews and tech updates. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.